This year, we are celebrating the 75th anniversary of the Anthony F. Lucas Gold Medal. Established in 1936 by AME as the first major institute award to recognize contributions in petroleum engineering, the Anthony F. Lucas Gold Medal is SP's major technical award. It recognizes those responsible for developing new technology and concepts and demonstrating distinguished achievements in, improved, in improving the, techni the technique and practice of finding and producing petroleum. The awards honors Lucas, who was born in Croatia in, in 1855. He was a mining engineer, oft often referred as the father of petroleum engineering. He successfully uh, drilled the famous Spindletop field near Beaumont, Texas, which was one of the most important events in the history of petroleum industry. The Spindletop discovery in 1901 marked the beginning of the modern petroleum industry, and it ushered in the development of the Texas Gulf Coast as a major oil producing area. For his contributions in compositional analysis that are a major reason for the large growth in compositional reservoir simulation, the Lucas Gold Medal is presented to Curtis Whitson. I've taught some 100 to 150 courses in my 30 years uh, in this industry and without lecture notes for the most part and without any jokes as well. Um, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to read uh, my 60 seconds worth of, uh, of um, thanks because I don't want to make, I want to make sure I don't uh, forget anybody. This is a very special award for me. So uh, I'd like to thank uh, the committee who has uh, given me the privilege of standing here tonight, recipient of this gold, uh, Lucas Gold uh, Medal. It's truly a great honor, uh, not particularly because of my achievements or the criteria which the committee has chosen me, uh, but it's really an honor uh, to be associated with the uh, previous winners of this award. Uh, there's a few unparalleled giants like Morris Muscat, who left us their scientific legacy. Some have been my teachers and technical uh, role models like Muzz Standing, who just passed away last year, and Hank Cramey, and two who have been my mentors and personal friends, namely Mike Vetkovich and Keith Coates. I also want to thank uh, Mike Golan, who's here with us tonight, who showed me the passion and innovation of teaching uh, by example. Thank you, Mike. And finally, to those of my students, a few of those who are out here, and colleagues who have challenged me and uh, made me a better teacher and engineer. I'm simply a product of these many influences along with the patience uh, and support of my family. It's a pleasure to enjoy this celebration with a few of these individuals here tonight and with the society that provides uh, its members, all of us, with so many useful functions. Thank you very much. <laughs> 